who had too many thoughts but not enough paper so the ink spilt from his veins marking his every battle scar tinted with the color of his skin that taught him how to live poetry is life therefore it taught him how to spit the boy whose mother was afraid of the people who would cringe their noses at the stench of frijoles and tortillas staining his voice hand me down shoes hand me down clothes the boy whose knees made love to the ground, rocking back and forth, callous pulling weeds from the mud he came from. His heart replaced by the sun, beating on his neck. The boy who answered, yes sir, no sir, it wasn't me sir. Took the clinging of his wrist, memorized every step, swallowed his right to remain silent and spit out a poet. The boy, who everyone swore they could help, told them everything would be okay. Hello, Child Protective Services, is this an emergency? No, it is not an emergency. Just domestic violence, battery, and another broken home. No, it is not an emergency. The boy, who beat himself with sticks and stones and found out that no matter how many times you tap the bruises, they will never see more than words. The boy, who was knocked down, picked himself up, dusted off the dirt and realized that no matter how much soap he used, he will always be brown. The boy, who looked down in the eyes and said no. The boy, who wiped the sweat from his brow, mixed it with the tears on his paper as he spilled from his veins and used it to vow that the next time his knees touched the ground, it would be to kiss the earth. Because no matter how many stars he caught, the earth will always be there to catch him when he falls. The boy, who despite all the pain and racist slurs, he is still a dreamer. The boy, who found light in darkness and dreams of the day where his words will fly with birds in that sky and got not only boys but girls lost more than lost can be but found in their hopes, fantasies, and dreams. The boy who despite his will has lost his mind and the lost for words and the lost hope for a battle that seems to already have been lost. The boy who burst off his knees, picked up his ass in the words and said, I too have a dream. The boy who continued a chance, he said, boy, it's no matter how Mexican, yes you can. The boy who's too rude to introduce himself. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the boy who lived there and took every life lesson. The boy who took the color of his skin, let it teach me how to live. Poetry is life, therefore, it taught me how to spit not only words, but love.